A Sabukia family is in grief after they got shocking news that their daughter who has been out of reach since March died in Saudi Arabia months ago. The body of Margaret Uguru, 29 has been lying at Dalla Hospital in Riyadh for at least two months with other sources indicating that she may have died in May this year. Her father Michael Wu says that she left the country in May 2021 in search of greener pastures in the Gulf country as a house girl through a Kenyan recruitment agency. We maintained contact with my daughter after she left the country for Saudi Arabia. She appeared comfortable with her job and was optimistic of coming back better financially, said Wu He explained that when she left the country, she had been married to a man with whom they were living in Githarai, Nairobi but she didn't have a job of her own. She left her two children aged eight and five with the husband. The husband was unable to take care of them on his own and brought them to us in November 2021, he said. Mr. Wu explained that trouble started for her daughter in February this year when she called home to inform them that she had received threats on her life from her employer. She told me that a TV remote control of her employer went missing. The employer threatened to kill her if she couldn't trace it. She chose to escape for her dear life, said Wu. He explained that on diverse dates of February and March this year, she maintained communication with other members of the family until March 6 when she last spoke to them. Wu revealed that it was until last week on Wednesday when they received a call from her husband saying that the Department of Immigration in Nairobi had confirmed her death. I traveled to Nairobi and got the same information. The Saudi authorities had communicated to them that Uguru died a natural death on August 22, 2022 and was an escapee, he said. While the agency that recruited her to the domestic job would have footed the bill of repatriating her remains, Wu says they have distanced themselves from her for alleged breach of contract. According to the agency, New Guru quit her job and reportedly started working for another employer under terms unknown to them. I visited the agency and they told me there was nothing they could do since my daughter breached her contract by running away from her employer and never contacted them, he said. What are you? A peasant farmer explained that the cost implication of bringing her body home is beyond the family's reach seeing that they were looking forward to her success. The deceased's mother Lucy Muthoni says that the last six months have been painful for them with confusing reports on when exactly her daughter died. When the authorities told us the location of her body, Kenyans in Saudi went there. They found that the body had been taken to the morgue in May. It is really confusing whether even the death was natural, said Muthoni. The family said that following similar incidents involving other Kenyan women in Saudi, they had come to terms with the bad news and all they wanted was support to have her body flown home. The family has called on the government to be more proactive in safeguarding the welfare of its citizens in Gulf countries where dozens of suspect deaths of Kenyan women are reported every year. Of Kenyan women. <laughs> na niko katika subukia hapo inaitwa Munanda Kilio changu mtoto alitoka hapa mwezi mwaka uliopita mwezi wa tano. na wakati nilipo toka hapa tulikuwa na wasiliana na ina simu kwa bahati baya kufikia mwezi wa tatu, mawasiliano ikakatika so kutoka wakati huo tumelia tumelia tupati mtoto wetu mahali yako wakati tumepata ripoti mtoto wetu hayuko huu ni mtoto wangu wa tatu kuna vijana wawili mbele alafu anafuata na kuna wengine nyuma so ile bilu anaitujisha huko atuwezi afford kulipa jua tu na pesa sisi ni watu wa kutafuta vibarua kila saa 
na nataka kitu tunaambia ni kitu kama 1700 kuleta mwili hapa wenye walipeleka mtoto huko wa wakati tuliwapa ripoti walisema hawamjui ndio wa mali walimpeleka kazi aliwacha huko kazi akaenda mahali ngine na sababu ya kuwa, kuwacha kazi huko mali alikuwa anafanya waliambia walimwambia watamua juu remote ya ya TV imepotea so mtoto akaona hawezi gojea kifo hapo akaenda kutafuta jia zingine na ndio mtoto wetu alienda zimu ikasimika baka wakati tumejua mtoto ameenda so ile kilio niko naye ni uzaidizi ile mtoto atakutaleta hapa ile ndio maliyo yangu anaitwa nani na alikuwa na miaka ngapi alikuwa anaitwa hadi Ma- wake anaitwa Margaret Ruguru Wabero ako na miaka 29 na ako na watoto wawili. Watoto wako na miaka ngapi? Watoto 8 na 5. Na, na, na pengine kwa sasa watoto wako na nani nani anawachunga na kazi. Mimi ndio niko na watoto wako hapa. Eh wako hapa. Na wako shule. Mimi <laughs> unaweza kukumbuka mara ya mwisho kuwasiliana na msichana wako. Mimi muliongea vipi? Alikuambia hali ilikuwa vipi? Mara mwisho kuongea na yeye isipokuwa aliongea na wengine nyumae mimi niliongea na yeye mwezi wa pili. Tukua ndani ya hii nyumba yangu. Tulikuwa naongea na WhatsApp. Sasa alikuwa ananiambia Baba kwani nyumba ulibadilisha nyumba tena? Vile ulikuwa umejenga. Sikamwambia tuliona turekebishe mahali tunaona inafaa. Kwa hivyo tunaona tumebomboa na tumerekebisha nyumba. Hiyo ndio tuliongea na yeye mwisho mwezi wa pili. Alikwambia hali ya kazi ilikuwa vipi wakati huo? Wakati ule ni wakati ilikuwa alitoka mahali alitoka pale. Mahali walimsema watamua. Mahali alienda kutafuta kibarua. Hapo ndio tuliongea naye hapo. Mm-hmm. E. Alikuwa kwa boma ya mtu ama alikuwa kwa boma ya mtu. Mm-hmm. Haswa maridio yako kwa serikali ni yapi? Maridio yangu kwa serikali ni watusaidie juu hatuna mbele wala nyuma. Ati tunaweza kibia tuleta hiyo mwili mahali iko. So maridio yangu ni tusaidiwe mtoto wetu tuletewe nyumbani. Wewe kama mzazi kumekuwa na visa hivi vimefanyika sana hasa eneo hausu wasichana wa Kenya. Kama mzazi maoni yako ni yapi? Maoni yangu tugefurahia kama serikali gigia kati ya bila watoto wanaenda huko wanaenda huko wanaangamia tugeomba serikali ingilie dia wa watoto waache kwenda kuangamia huko mtoto anatoka hapa akiwa mzima kufika huko mtoto anarudi akiwa ndani ya jeneza wengine wanarudi akiwa viweti so tugeomba serikali tuingilie kati kati ya hii maneno ndio tupate suluhisho mlewezaje ndio hata watoto wetu wenye wako huko wenye wako huko wawe wakiwa kijua wako huu mahali wako. Hiyo ndio kitu tunaweza kwa serikali. Mlipataje habari kuwa aliaga dunia? Na ilikuwa lini? Uh, wiki iliyopita nimepigua simu na kijana mwenye alikuwa amemuoa. Akaniambia umepigua simu, ah sijapata simu. So ilibidi tuadamane na yeye, nimwambia kuja tuadamane na yeye mpaka mahali simu litoka. Baza vile mimi nilimwambia kuja tuadamane na yeye yeye hakukuja. Mimi juu niko na uchungu ya mtoto. Ilibidi nifuate baka mahali aliniambia. Nikafuata. Na nikakuta kuna barua. Nikaelezewa. Na nikaonyeshwa. Sasa nikaridika. Mlipata simu kutoka kwa nani? Nilipiga simu kutoka kwa ofisi ya immigration hii means of home affairs. Iko milimani huko. Huko ndio nilikibia. Na nikaelezewa hiyo maneno. Na kile kijana alikuwa amepigwa simu. Ndio akanipigia simu yeye mwenyewe. Well, habari yenye mlipata pale ilikuwa inaonyesha pengine aliaga lini na 
nilikuwa wapi? Mm, habari yenye tulipata huko nilipata kitu wa kwanza walikuwa wameandika ni aliaga mwezi wa mwezi wa mwezi shina na mbili mwezi wa nane mwaka hii alafu walikuwa wameandika hapo yeye ni mtu wa kutoroka kutoroka alitoroka mahali alikuwa anafanya kazi so wakaniambia sasa hata agent hiyo hawezi kubali juu yeye alitoka mahali alipeleko so hakuna kitu kingine waliniambia ile kitu alisema niandike email na nikaandika email wakaniambia tugoje baada ya siku kumi. na ni kuanzia friday sasa niandika friday sasa tuko tunagojea tu tukiangalia tusaidika namna gani na bila ya kuleta mwili hadi nyumbani mliambiwa ni ya serikali ama ni ya familia walisema ni familia mm -hmm. juma hali alipelekwa atiyakibia wao meandika pale ni ranawi kwa hiyo marua yao meandika ni ranawi so biru ikawa ni ya familia na ndio sababu nasikia tunalia ndio hiyo biru kubwa tumesikulipa na wanasema kwa hiyo barua walikuwa wanasema aliaga dunia kwa hali gani eh wameandika no model ndio mm -hmm. wameandika kwa hiyo barua natuambia jina mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. tu kama mzazi mm -hmm. eh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Aya, mm -hmm. yes kwanza tu kwa jina yes kama kuna ipolisi mbona mbona about the hanini dauti dauti alafu ni uko geria ongerera dauti hanini eh kwamba jina na ipolisi mbona wa weru na nini mama yake magret ruguru na magret alipote ya mwezi wa 3 tarehe 6 tumejaribu kumtafuta tumemkosa kwa hiyo mwezi yote 7 kwa sababu naona alikama mwezi 7 Mmetaribu jia sote lakini tatu kwa tumefaulu mpaka tarehe 5 mwezi wa 10 ndio ripoti imekuja na ikasemekana magia alifariki. Hii ripoti ya kwanza ilikuwa imesema ati aliyefariki mwezi wa 8 tarehe 23. Na ripoti ya pili ikasema tena amekufa alikufa mwezi 4 nyuma nyuma ya sasa ya mwezi wa 10. Lakini ripoti yenyewe ya sasa ya kutoka hospitali kwenye alikufia Ilisema alikufa mwezi wa tatu, tarehe sita. Siku jene, simu yake ilipima. Iyo nilipoti ya kutoka kwa, kwa hospitali. Sasa kiri yangu ilikuwa, hii miesi yote, walikuwa wanafanya nini. Juhi, juhi, jia, jia wali, 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 wali fuata diyo, tupate hii ripoti. Sindiyo wange fuata mpaka samani. Sasa nilikuwa na shidwa hii miesi yote saba, walikuwa wanafanya nini. Na tena niseme, hata hii basi yetu ya Kenya hata watoto wetu wakienda na huko hawafuatiri niseme hata serikali imeanguka pahali juu hata watoto wetu wakitumwa na huko hawafuatiri wamesikia kilio kingi lakini hakuna hatua wanapata sasa tu nilikuwa ninaomba mbili yenye imekuja tumekubali mtoto wetu wameaga lakini njia kukuja hapa ndio inatulemea 1700 hata tukifanya ni hatuwezi tukapata na hiyo ni bili ya moshari na tena ya kumleta mpaka hapa. Mimi kama mzazi wewe ndio umekuki ukiwa mlezi watoto wa, wa... watoto mangi walipoenda mm. aliwaachia bwana yake. Na mimi kama mama nikaona hao watoto wanateseka. Huyu bwana ni wakufanya kazi anakuja jioni. Sasa kwa hivyo juu hata tuto tulikuwa tudogo. Nikawaitiza wakakuja hapa Novemba. Kwa hivyo nilikuwa na hao watoto mpaka wa leo. Mimi changamoto zipi umekukipitia wakati una, wakati wa ulenzi wa watoto mimi unaweza tuelezea kidogo Sasa hii unajua sasa ni ya watoto unajua ulikuwa ume, umetoka kwa hiyo sehemu ya kulea tena unaona ni watoto wachanga walioto wakiwa mmoja alikuwa standard 1 huyu mwingine alikuwa nasari kwa hivyo aliwekelewa msigo mwingine wenye ulikuwa umekuotokea ume tena hawa watoto wanataka wanataka kukula wanataka mafazi na unaona tunapitia wakati wa hali ngumu ya uchumi kwa hivyo nilikuwa na wakati mgumu na hata niko na hali hali gumu hata sasa ni fenye tu huwezi huna 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 namna nyingine ya kufanya si hawa watoto wesi uka ukawa ukawaachilia eh na kabla aende Saudi Arabia alikuwa anafanya kazi gani hapo nyumbani hakukuwa hapa huyo msichana alikuwa ameolewa na hata alienda akiwa mikononi mwa bwana yake 
Mm. E, nakua, nafikia tu walikuwa wanafanya hii kazi ya hasuli. Walikuwa mm. wameolewa wapi? Walikuwa wanakaa kidole ya 45. Mm. E, Kwa hiyo walikuwa wanakaa.